Intel raises the bar with the new SSDs. Comcast offering two gigabits per second internet, a new battery that charges in one minute, and Apple says screw 4K, we're going to eight. These are today's bits. Intel launched a new line of SSDs that set a new standard for speed. The 750 series that comes in a PCI Express or 2.5 inch flavors offer speeds of 2.4 gigabytes per second read and 1.2 gigabytes per second write. They're offering a 400 gigabyte drive that is slightly slower at $389, while the flagship 1.2 terabyte version is just a little over $1,000. This of course making my Revo drive that I paid $850 for look like a chump. PCI Express Revo Drive 350, I got the 440 gigabyte version, 448, is it worth it? Yeah, I hid that video. Comcast is trying to stay in the game by offering two gigabits per second symmetrical internet service, which is two gigs both ways. But it's only to their prime customers in Google Fiber areas. Launching in Atlanta, they claim that their new service dubbed Gigabit Pro is available to 1.5 million customers. Comcast has said that they have spent a decade building their fiber networks and now the only hurdle is getting people to actually want Comcast. Researchers at Stanford University have developed a new battery that charges in one minute and it's safer than lithium ion cells. Using aluminum ion cells, it's cheaper to make, flexible, performs better, and it doesn't explode when, when damaged, which is actually kind of a bonus. Good for 7,500 recharges, this new technology was actually an accidental discovery. It's not all rainbows and butterflies though because they still need to work on the voltage levels to meet today's electronic standards. Hopefully though, this holds a little bit more steam than the graphene batteries that I've seen promised before. Last but not least, LG accidentally leaked details about a new display for iMac that will have an 8K resolution, which is pretty crazy to think about because it takes a Titan X just to game high quality of 4K as it is. So unless they're planning on stacking four Titans in the new iMac, I doubt that this new display will run very well. And let's not even talk about the fact that we don't even have a camera capable of recording native 8K either. But hey, you know what? I'm all for latest innovations and technology advancements, so forth and so on. So if they can make this thing happen, more power to them. If you liked today's video, make sure to click that like button below. And if you want to hear more, don't forget to subscribe.